Hello ladies. There's always so much you can glean from the Titus 2 chapter which talks about both men and women being sensible and being busy and being uh, serious minded. And so I want to talk a little bit about that today in relation to your children, if you have children at home, or even if your children are grown. It's going to have a big effect on them to see their mother happily engrossed in busyness at home, the business of taking care of things, the business of even sitting in your own house and enjoying the sun coming over your shoulder from the window and so I wanted to emphasize this because if you have children at home and they're young they need to learn to enjoy the moment that's what partly what home is all about is a chance to be yourself to rest to enjoy the moment to enjoy the season now I know that a lot of things you do with your children like coloring over a leaf on a piece of paper with a wax crayon is can be done in some place like daycare with a group of children but there's a relationship you're establishing you're the mother and you're teaching them this they'll remember your hands your arms your voice they'll remember the time that you spent with them one time in a class I taught about raising your children with love I asked each of the women to think for a moment about the first happy moment that comes into their mind concerning their childhood. None of them remembered anything to do with uh, material things as much as they remembered the time that their father took with them or their mother took with them on a personal basis, uh, sitting down and teaching them how to draw or speaking to them and, 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 and helping them to speak more clearly or singing to them or reading to them this kind of thing those are the memories the happy memories that your children will have and they only have one chance to get them and that's why I say you can daycare your own children I saw a group of children walking down the street the sidewalk with three or four people who were monitoring them adults who were monitoring them and everyone was holding hands and I thought to myself I think every mother could hold her own child's hand and take them to the library, take them to the post office, take them to the museum, because you're developing a personal bond, a personal relationship. You still can do that with your children. It's not too late as long as they're alive and you're alive, as long as we exist here on earth. It's not too late for uh, to establish new ideas, new habits. and make life at home a happy place not a place that they are severely regulated all the time of course we want them to be respectful and to behave but in general we want them not to want to leave home to find someplace better because we make it better for them there home is the best place to be I can talk more about this on another video and in the meantime, I'm so happy uh, that you came to visit, and I hope you'll come again. Bye.